Ta-da! I have this amazing chakra stone poster. Um, it took me a very long time to find this poster and it's not the uh, highest quality but it definitely <laughs> showcases the different gemstones that are associated with the seven chakras, the seven main chakras. So I really wanted to go over the chakra system, the seven chakras that we use typically and then I'm going to talk about the two additional ones. So. We're all familiar with the crown chakra. So within crystal therapy, amethyst is usually the primary when it comes to the crown chakra, but there's always um, a difference of opinion. Um, this is just one template. I am going to show you a second template in just a few moments. So within the uh, third eye chakra, you can use soldalite. The throat chakra is angelite. The heart chakra is um, uh, Amazonite and the solar plexus chakra is yellow um, calcite and the sacral chakra is carnelian and the root chakra is red jasper. So this is your typical, typical gemstone um, selection for the seven main chakras when one is doing a crystal therapy, crystal healing session. Hear my crystals. <laughs> so back to the seven main chakras that crystal therapists use during a crystal healing session. Now I'm just going to cover what is the um, best recommendation of gemstones to use during a healing session. What's really important uh, to have um, in your crystal toolbox is to have a set of the seven main chakras, but the gemstones to be worry stones. So what is a worry stone? Well, a worry stone is a stone that looks like this and it has a thumb indentation on the back. It's oval, it's smooth, so that means it has been tumbled, but it's not in a circular, it's tumbled flat with an indentation right here. And it's not too big, as you can see, it's about just that size of the finger. And these worry stones are absolutely amazing when we're doing crystal healing sessions because they're not too big to put on the body. They're not round, they're not odd shaped, so they're not going to slip or kind of like tumble down if somebody is moving while they're laying down on the massage table. Um, it's really uh, the best shape for healing sessions. So let's go over them. So usually you want to select clear quartz for the crown chakra. So a worry stone clear quartz is absolutely ideal um, for the crown chakra. Lepidolite. This is lepidolite and it's absolutely excellent for the third eye. Now, 
for the throat chakra here, I have soldalite in blue. So this is a beautiful worry stone of soldalite right here. Now for the heart chakra, I think green adventurine is absolutely wonderful. So I have a beautiful worry stone right here of green adventurine, ideal for the heart. Now for the solar plexus, I have a beautiful honey calcite. So honey calcite, <laughs> honey calcite um, is absolutely wonderful for the solar plexus. And again, it is a worry stone. And for the sacral chakra, I have, yes, sunstone, this beautiful orange sunstone. So we try to um, also match the colors. Usually the crown is white, the third eye is purple or magenta, the throat is blue, um, the heart can is usually um, green, but some people like to go pink, but traditionally within crystal healing, we go green. Um, and then the um, solar plexus is always yellow and the sacral is always orange. And then finally we go down to the root chakra and I have a beautiful red jasper stone. So this one is not a typical palm stone. Sorry, it's not a typical uh, worry stones because it doesn't have the indentation. This would be more of a uh, circular flat stone. For some reason, when I ordered this kit um, from the Evolve Healing Institute, um, they provided this beautiful red jasper, jasper stone, but it wasn't exactly the same shape. So, you know, it's really difficult to get everything symmetrical um, in the gemstone world because, you know, by the way that they're made and how, and sometimes they run out of stock, so they try to replace things. So it doesn't really matter. I was still very pleased with this beautiful red jasper stone and red for the root chakra. So I wanted to just go over all of these beautiful worry stones that are absolutely ideal because once you place them on the body, just like that, and they're lying down, it's usually not going to move because of the indentation and it has a bit of a grip. So I highly recommend investing in a um, basic seven chakra crystal um, gemstones um, in worry stone format uh, for your crystal toolkit. Now let's dive deeper into the meanings and um, spiritual and healing significances of these seven chakra gemstones.
All right, all right, all right. So what are the two additional chakras that are used in crystal therapy? Well, the first one is called the soul star chakra, um, which is above the crown chakra. And the second is the earth star chakra that is placed below the root chakra. Let's go over the definition and spiritual significance of the Soul Star Chakra and the Earth Star Chakra. Now that you know what the soul star chakra is and what the earth star chakra, you might be wondering what crystals are best used for either or. Well, I've selected two that are the top favorites um, used by crystal therapists. Usually the soul star chakra represents the etheric plane and very closely um, connected 
with um, the divine creator and or your higher self. So you want to have a very high vibrational crystal. So I highly recommend using Selenite. Selenite, in my opinion, is um, a beautiful uh, gemstone that can be used for purification, for amplification, and really high vibes and really excellent for, for um, transformation and healing. So, Selenite, in my humbled opinion, is the best one to use to represent the Soul Star Chakra. Now for the Earth Star Chakra. Well, I've selected here this beautiful worry stone. It is Black Agate. So Black Agate is my personal favorite for the Earth Star Chakra. But I must admit that what's really close to also being my favorite is Black Obsidian. So sometimes it's hard to tell uh, Black Agate uh, from uh, apart from black, uh, black obsidian, but this is a black agate uh, worry stone. Um, but the two are absolutely amazing with using the Earth Star Chakra system because they're um, black in nature, so it represents the opposite, which is of the light, which is white, in my opinion, of the Soul Star Chakra. So it really um, kind of has a yin and yang kind of feel. So um, black agate not only is black, <laughs> but it has amazing grounding properties that really connect with Mother Nature and really helps to really go deeper into the root systems um, that is even beyond your own personal chakra system in your own root chakra. But now we're dealing with the root and the grid systems perhaps of the earth and even the cosmos. So I highly recommend Black Agate as the primary for the earth star chakra when we're using gemstones within these nine chakra systems during crystal therapy. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video and remember dear stardust everything that you're searching for is already within you i want to wish you all a good night and sweet dreams until next time planet people <laughs>